Hello guys and welcome back to new Applied Analytics 6 2 tutorial and in this episode we want to take a look how we can automate the Zetas Quartz Crystal production in Applied Analytics 2 um, which you need in the Minecraft versions since 1.16.5 and um, yeah, after an update, you need to collect some clusters and some um, status quads blocks, I would say. And um, here you can see a setup uh, with a subnet uh, thing is set up in Applied Analytics 2. Um, that means we have only one Flux ME glass cable. So that means that we only have um, um, the ability to put eight interface on in this channel, uh, on this cable, eight channels. And um, we power this cable with an energy acceptor and then we will get us uh, our energy out of this created energy cube. You can use instead of this cube, um, your normal energy network. Okay, um, you can see that we installed three growth accelerators here. And um, these growth accelerators are powered with um, energy through this Fluix ME glass cable. And then we can see that we have uh, ME formation plane. Um, did, uh, this plane will output one flawed booting status quads. Um, this is the highest tier which you can produce um, automatically. And, um, and then we have two annihilation plane, planes, one here and one here. This um, annihilation plane is um, to output put or the to um, to input um, this block and, um, and this annihilation plane is to input um, your status quartz crystals and um, we have um, two chests um, in this chest we have um, our flawed embodying status quartz and in this chest we have actually nothing but uh, we have a storage bus um, and our storage bus is configured with uh, some status quartz crystals and some status quartz blocks. That means if we have this uh, sub network here, um, these annihilation planes can only um, um, collect some blocks um, if they are status quartz blocks or status quartz crystal. And um, that means um, these blocks will not be um, collected by these annihilation planes. Okay, um, through this input bus, we may make sure that our sub network always have enough flawed booting set of squads. Okay, and if we take a look, we can um, connect this and we can see our sub network is working. So uh, actually, we are fully automated our um, set of squads crystal production in Applied Energistics 2. And um, if we take a look, we can see that um, actually our status quartz block is uh, chipped at the booting status quartz. And um, if we, if in this small status quartz boot, this will go in a little bit higher. We can uh, speed it up a little bit, I would say. Okay, 200. Okay. And um, if it go to, uh, it will break. If it, um, it is the uh, cluster fully um, build it up, we, um, it will collect um, this status quartz crystals here. And if um, the chipped and booting status quartz is completely depleted, um, it will go to a normal status quartz um, block. And, um, and this annihilation plane will be remove this um, status quartz block instead of that. Okay. And um, yeah, that's um, how it works. And you can also um, use um, your annihilation plane on the front to um, upgrade in this annihilation plane. Um, we Normally we will get out four set of quartz crystals um, per operation, per, um, per, um, per, per cluster. And um, if we use our, um, if you reuse this anvil here, you collect some fortune books, for example. And um, if we use in this one and this one, we will get out uh, out of two fortune three, we will get one fortune four. And if we um, call, um, if we um, stack these uh, two together, we will get out of fortune five, okay? So that means we need a new anvil and um, a new anvil, okay? And um, now we are able to use one annihilation plane and combine it with Photon 5 and we will get, and we now we are able to install this um, this plane like that. We need to remove it, okay. 
and install a new one like that. Okay, that's fine. And if we um, connect this cable, we can see actually we, we got nine Zeta Squad crystals out of um, one cluster. That means we have um, dramatically um, increased our production of Zeta Squad crystals um, through the fortune upgrade. We can also use um, a higher tier of fortune. Um, I think it's, it will go till eight. And you can see that um, we already have um, or uh, you can see that any annihilation plane collected the cell squads block and um, our formation plane in the background put um, or placed a new flawed putting set of squads. And you can also connect in these two um, these two um, chests with your network, with your main network. Our main network, that's, uh, that's our main, main network, for example. And um, we need to make sure that we uh, have a export bus on our on our chest with the flawed booting set of squads. And um, we can configure this export bus to flawed set of booting set of squads. Okay, fine. And we need to get automatically these items into our inventory system. So we can use an import um, bus and use some Fluix cables like this. And okay, that's fine. And um, now we are able to, um, if we put in some flawed booting set of squads, flawed booting set of squads, um, we can see that we put in something like this and we, it will um, push through in the export bus to this chest and we make sure that we have always enough um, flawed booting saddle squads in our sub network. So you can also automate um, the step um, to um, get new flawed booting saddle squads. Um, but this I will show you later in a later video. Um, thanks for watching in this case um, and bye.